Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, continuing the series SNCF 317. Today, one of the most important and uh, too much love in my heart for this uh, topic. And I want to thank Cisco about this topic, it's correlation. Correlation is uh, basically is a policy depending in several events what i mean is we uh, took a lot of topics uh, like uh, intrusion uh, policy uh, malware and file policy security intelligence policy uh, network discovery policy all these generating events right generating logs so these events we uh, deal with them uh, in uh, network discovery, uh, sorry, in the network analysis, advanced network analysis uh, topics, and I explained it uh, deeply. So these events and logs is very important, uh, or are very important to us, especially when correlation. Correlation is something depend on something else. Like, I want to do a policy. This policy is depending in the uh, intrusion prevention system events okay or malware and file policy uh, it depends on the connection events so it's really tied with an event not with the packet uh, not with the frame uh, not with the device so it is tied with the events let's see like what is correlation and correlation overview the main idea is to uh, gather or link events to trigger a violation and simply you are automating uh, your security decision like how uh, like to tell you one example very quickly if I want to make a policy this policy is not signature based uh, for example uh, I found like uh, some host or uh, PC in VLAN 20 for example uh, this VLAN 20 always I'm, I'm getting attack from it so I want to do a policy based on the uh, intrusion if there is an event for intrusion so do for me something what is this something this something could be like email array alert uh, syslog it can be like integrated of course with eyes as we integrated you can send this to remediation area uh, it can like uh, a block connection it can do like many things you want so yeah definitely we are automating the security decision for that correlation is working on events rather than the actual fabric this is what I told you so we are not correlating the packets from the FTD and the feature is on FMC exactly and when you see uh, in the next video when you are applying a correlation Correlation is happening on FMC itself and no need to deploy it because it's not deploying in the any firepower or any FTD because it's gathered the information from the events stored in the database and the FMC and start doing your correlation policy. Uh, you can think of correlation to violate the non-signature packets and I put the smile face. You see the smile face? <laughs> uh, what do you mean by non-signature uh, packets? or non-signature like uh, traffic actually uh, when you uh, have like a zero day attack and this zero day attack happened to uh, one of your hosts so automatically like we will be knowing after the attack let's say in zero day attack zero day attacks mean the signature is not in the database so it's path passed there uh, so uh, Okay, the AMP updated its SHA uh, and after that it is updating and put it like uh, as a malware, let's say, or as whatever. Uh, so there was no signature for that. So what I can do is, okay, there is an event happened uh, with the malware then I will start to take an action for that. Oh, there is something, send it to the remediation area. I don't want to infect other PCs. 
So actually, it's a brilliant feature. This is what I this, this is what I like. Actually, uh, great correlation policy. Policy has rules and has whitelist and has responses. Rules we would put like a rules like rule that I need to make a violation for it. Uh, the whitelist. Actually, the whitelist is something called a host criteria based. Okay, it's focused in hosts, in hosts like applications, uh, like operating systems, details of operating system, and uh, you will you can see that uh, yes, they are under correlation, but the correlation rules and compliance whitelist they are dependent. They are not related to each other because whitelist it will do something and the rules it will do another thing and i will make a special video for that uh, i'm wondering actually guys like when i see the all the explanation for that like everyone explain the correlation in 20 minutes videos actually correlation need more for that and uh, i hope that i will do several videos to to to, to just uh, try to let you understand uh, the concept well after that correlation responses uh, triggered in response to violation yes uh, when there is a trigger the violation will happen or configured as alert or remediation there is an alert alert that previously in the first videos we we defined several alerts like email syslog snmp trap yes it can be also working with this or Remediation, send it to iOS null, I will explain it in a while, or eyes, remediation or an MEP scanning, in map scanning, sorry, etc. Uh, correlation rules, event types such as uh, event connection, yes, it depends on event connection, intrusion, malware, network discovery, file policy, host input. So the correlation, yes, is built on the events for all these uh, categories. Traffic profile change. Traffic profile uh, changing. Actually, the traffic profile also in the correlation, it is something that when you want to track uh, a network, like what is the behavior of this network, uh, in terms of traffic, I mean, yes, there is a special tab for that's called traffic profile. User activity, yes, it can be integrated easily with the users discovered uh, via network discovery or integrated with Active uh, Directory or ICE. Constraints, so what's the constraint? Adding complex context to the rule. You can add to the rule host profile qualification or user qualification and user qualification for, for identity. Connection tracker allowing you to add some thresholds. Yes, I want to track something. I will explain everything in detail. Uh, Snow period. It's like giving you the ability to disable the rule when it's matched for a, a certain time. For example, if I put the uh, snooze period is 10 minutes. So if a violation happened in minute number one, it's fine. It still can generate an alert or do an evaluation, uh, a violation, sorry. Uh, minute number two, yes, until reach to 10. When until reach to 10, it will be like off. The rule will be off for a certain time. In active period, an active period is something like a time you put it for your access control list or access control rule that I want this rule to work from this time to this time. Compliance why? list rule yes it's host specific rule for violation uh, the target it what we want to evaluate like target ip addresses host profile it's focusing on operating system applications uh, operating system like uh, it will list all the operating system that it discovered in your uh, infrastructure even like for uh, uh, mobile application androids all these yes it can it can do that. Uh, it will be having one default list. It's recommended by Cisco Talos and it's applied to all endpoints. 
Compliance whitelist and correlation rules are independent. Yes, this is what I told you before. So they are evaluated separately 100%. Correlation responses. We have alerts. It's notification tool using SNMP syslog email. As I told you, remediation, we can use eyes endpoint. We can use iOS null route. Uh, it will be like for iOS uh, router. Then you can send this to traffic when a violation came to uh, this router to block or to do an action. Uh, in map network uh, map scanner, yes, it can be that set attribute value. There is a value and attribute that we can set it later. There is here a diagram. It's a correlation hierarchy. How it's there is here a correlation policy. The policy will be divided to two things. Actually, they are divided to three. There is a traffic profile, but I don't care about traffic profile right now. Correlation rules and compliance whitelist. In the correlation rule, you can create your set of rules. In the compliance whitelist. See, we have default whitelist and we have custom whitelist. Inside, for example, allowed HPPC, okay, uh, or any operating system. It's dealing like with operating system, Debian, Windows 7, 8, HP UX, allowed web application, allowed application control, allowed the clients, allowed protocols. You can allow or deny whatever you want. Great. So in the default, here you have target network, the entire network, it will be 0, 0, 0 or custom network you can create your custom let me go to uh, yes here and to see actually where we can inside the policy there is color correlation here inside the correlation today is a purely like theory I will not do any uh, action here you are inside the correlation. There is policy management, forget about it. Rule management, this is what we said, the rules. And this is the whitelist, and this is the traffic profile. Okay, that's why I told you there are three main things. In the uh, rule management, here, if you if you click it, then it will be empty by default. Create rule or group. You can create several rules and put in one group and apply it in the policy management. So uh, when you create a rule here, you can give it a name, go down. It's based actually is like in the programming language, if, then, if, else. Here, select type of event for this rule. Here you will find an intrusion event occurs. This, this is something belong to intrusion. And when you select this, it, you will be having several lists for that. Discovery event. User activity is detected. A host input event occurs. A connection event occurs. Uh, a traffic profile changes. A malware event changes. For example, if we click on the an intrusion event occurs, so automatically it will open for you down here to put one condition. Check here how many item that you have for the intrusion. Intrusion, something related to access control policy, access control rule name by name. If, uh, for example, an intrusion happened and this access control name uh, catch the intrusion, then do something. Okay. Application control, uh, application protocol category, both source IP and destination IP classification. Of course, I will not be able to uh, make labs for all of these, but I will give you like some scenarios. And after that, you will carry on. Client destination IP, devices, egress interface, uh, egress security zone, egress VRF. Uh, many things here you will be having. Uh, let's, uh, for example, source IP. If I check. So what does this mean is when an event of intrusion ev event occur, then source IP address is this is the source that causes this intrusion. Mainly, will be, will, it will be the Kali Linux machine, or is in. So, is is one specific IP address. Is in is a range, a subnet. For example, one nine two one six eight dot ten dot zero slash something. Is not is not in. Uh, 
and here you can also add complex condition so condition inside condition it will be I know like it will be here a little bit difficult for you but uh, I will explain everything in the next video just I want to get familiar with this so if, for example if the source IP is for example 1.1 1 .1, assume that we have this I will give you a real scenario later okay you see the operator is or and inside and what does this mean here I have two things you have to good to be good with operator uh, let me set the client and here uh, grid VRF, anything don't care about this so what is this rule is saying if the source IP is 111 or here there is or and inside there is and so I will perform the and and it means both condition has to be matched okay both condition has to be matched so if these are matched then there is a result right then source IP or the result for that can either this or this you can send the operator from here here and and you can change whatever you want here so like this what will happen is the result from these two this one or this one so let's say that the first one is applied then if the source IP this and the client is 100 bo then it's it had so both should be matched this is the snow that I told you you can change it uh, in active period this is the inactive period you have to click here in active period also here you can add to this one add connection tracker or add user qualification add host profile qualification user it means you are dealing with the users connection tracker if you want to uh, track something based on a specific criteria and host profile qualification this is for devices itself so here uh, if you put a tracker for example add connection tracker so down start a tracking connection that means the following connection okay track when what in initiator IP you have several things DNS uh, query blah 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 initiator bytes VRF many things you have so if this start generate event F F what F one of these so actually it's applying this like nothing easy you have to be strong in the concept what you want to make in your infrastructure so um, also in the analysis here that you will find correlation events then when correlation happened it will trigger uh, whitelist events whitelist violation and the status great uh, for we want to apply in next video some scenarios I will come you with, I will come for you for you with the, some scenarios uh, then you will go to the correlation you will find when it's happened the trigger is there um, I hope it's not like a heavy uh, information for the theory one uh, please uh, do not forget to subscribe like and share and see you with the uh, lab very soon thank you bye